What's up, YouTube? Galadit74 here, bringing you our second battle in the second week of the URL Team Builder. So this is our third battle we're t uh, prepping for. Uh, I'm going to apologize in advance that I'm currently planning plans right now, so I might be a little sidetracked in this video. I did Team Build a week ago, so my, my head also might be a little rusty. But this match is for Specments. Please, I will leave his links in the description, his Twitter, and his YouTube, so... Make sure to check him out, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, I am really scared of his team. I'm going to go over his team in a second. Um, but yeah, his team is uh, Lander Asterian, Jirachi, Terrain Asterian, Infernape Shaman, Mega Blastoise, Tangrowth, Jellicent, Registeel, Ismagius, Muck, Miltank, Cryogonal, Mr. Mime, and Zed Striker. So I'm going to go over what I'm going to be bringing for his team. My team is actually... Pretty much countered to his team for the most part, but I tried to build what I can do. I had a really tough time building this, but I'm gonna go over what I have. My first Pokemon is Gallade, Mega Gallade. We're bringing uh, 252 attack EVs with adamant nature, 216 speed, and 40 in defense. I actually split crypt this thing for Landorus Tarion. Uh, max speed Jolly does not outspeed this thing, so I, I didn't really want to just bother to catch up to Tornadus because Tornadus is basically faster anyway. Same with Scarf Jirachi, I wanted to get some damage this time instead of trying to outspeed. I know outspeeding is kind of important, but in this case I guess I'd rather take a hit. Uh, I have Protect, Psycho Cut, Knock Off, Thunder Punch. I need to get this Mega Off this week, so for the speed. Uh, Psycho Cut for Stab, it hits a couple of his team, it hits Infernape, so Infernape's a big threat, because I don't know, Infernape could be special, it could be supportive, it could be an attacking, it could be anything. And I don't know what to expect, so I can just want to Psycho Cut it. Because I, I'm pretty sure he's not going to run like max health, max defense. That's weird. Uh, I've got knockoff for like Jirachi. Dr Choice Scarf for Jirachi cannot one shot this thing. And since I've got inner focus, I won't be flinching to death. Knockoff to get rid of the scarf so other Pokemon can outspeed it now. Uh, knockoff for Jellicent too. And just knockoff for anything, really. Knockoff's a great move. And Thunder Punch for the Mega Blastoise. I don't really have much for this thing, to be honest. Like, at all. I originally had Ice Punch on this Gallade for the Landorus, but even without the Intimidate, an Ice Punch still won Oko Landorus. So, I didn't think it would really be worth it. I, I knock off and Psycho Cut would be my best bet there. So, Thunder Punch for the Blastoise and Jellicent after its knocked off item. That's basically kind of it. Our next Pokemon is going to be Heliolisk. Choice Scarfed, uh, same thing as last week almost. The Volt Switch, Surf, Hyper Voice, and HP Ice were ringing for the Landorus. Still doesn't one shot, but it does a lot of damage. Uh, 252 spe special attack and speed, 4 in the special defense, timid. Uh, dry skin, yeah, Heliolus. It's, it's pretty similar to last week. So that is that. Uh, our next Pokemon is going to be Skarmory. Uh, Rocky Helmet, sturdy, I'm bringing. 252 defense, impish nature to get the most out of the defense. 224 HP EVs and 32 attack EVs. I ran this for a certain reason that I actually forget at the moment why I did. Uh, I have the moves Brave Bird, Whirlwind, Toxic, and Defug. Defug is to get rid of any hazards they have set up because they have a lot of stealth rockers they can have. They only really have one spinner, which is Mega Blastoise, and I know Mega Blastoise does constantly bring that, so I don't have stealth rocks this week. Or do I? No, I don't. I do not have stealth rocks on my side, I just have Defug. So if they want to set up, they can't do that. Toxic is for the Miss Magius. Miss Magius can set up and sweep. A lot of their Pokemon can, so if I can Toxic it. Limits their time, as well as Whirlwind. Whirlwind also does that as well. It gets rid of their setup, and Brave Bird for Stab does the most. It was more beneficial than Iron Head this week, because Tangrowth's a thing, and Fernape's a thing. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cryogon has got no defense whatsoever. Iron Head still would have done more, but um, that's our Skarmory for this week. I, I still forget why I ran those certain EVs. It is what it is, though. I really don't care. <laughs> as long as it gets the job done. Toxic Whirlwind. But our win condition for this week is Reuniclus. This is the first time we're bringing this Pokemon this week. It's got leftovers, and its ability is Regenerator. I might switch it to Magic Guard, because this thing is a setup mon. I've got max HP, max defense, calm nature, psychic, calm minds, recover, and shadow ball. Shadow ball hits his team fairly, fairly well. Miss Magius especially. Uh, Mr. Mime hits too. Psychic hits a lot of his team as well. Shadow ball hits Jirachi as well. But if I'm going to be setting up, I might just use Magic Guard so I don't get Toxic. Not many of his team would really carry Toxic that I'm looking at it now. Muck, maybe. Uh, Tangrowth, maybe. But that's kind of it. And Regenerator is because if, if I can't get Reuniclus as a late game sweeper, 
I, I will probably be switching it in and out a lot, so I will get my health back, leftover recovery. Very recovering mon. I do have leftovers in recover, so I might switch it. We'll see though. But our next Pokemon's a little more trolly. We've got Spiritomb, uh, Infiltrator ability with the Flame Orb and Trick. I also have Willow Wisp too. Uh, that is to burn the Landorus or the Jirachi or the Tornadus actually. All his uh, OU picks. It also can burn like Mock or something like that, Mill Tank as well. I want to get these, it, it, it's more of a just troll, and I can see what item they have too, the trick, so that's, I guess it can be useful, and for the off chance that it, it completely fails, I can just will o -Wisp to just get damage over done. Dark Pulse and Shadow Sneak, Shadow Sneak for priority, I need priority on my team, because his team is pretty fast like I mentioned, and Dark Pulse for stab, it did cover his Jello Scent pretty well, this, this basically does kind of block Jello Scent, so that's, that's some good news at least coming out and as well as Jirachi it hits. So that's our Spirit Tomb. Two max HP, 100 special attack, because it uh, two codes with Magus yes, that way, and 156 special defense EVs. So that's that's Spirit Tomb for this week. And our last and final Pokemon is Stoutland. This guy Intimidate. I wasn't gonna bring this at first, but I did some calcs. A Jolly Choice Scarp Infernape uh, after the Intimidate does not Oko a uh, Stoutland with close combat. So that's really good. I've been saying so a lot. I deeply apologize for that. Max attack, max speed. I have a salt vest, so I'm a little bulky on both sides. Uh, with wild charge, return, fire fang, and ice fang. Return for stab. Wild charge, two coast tornadoes. Unless this thing's carrying superpower, we win. Adamant nature to get the most damage. I'm not trying to outspeed anything. Uh, ice fang does a lot to Landorus. Fire fang for coverage. Fire fang's not really going to be doing too much. So that's basically Statland. I, I, originally, I was going to run a choice scarf on it. But I decided just not to do it. I needed to get some damage off, and it's supposed to be supportive anyway with Intimidate. If I wanted to be Choice Scarf, I probably would have ran Scrappy on it anyway. Or Sand Rush and set up Sandstorm. But that is going to be our team for this week. If you are hyped for your New Jersey Gallades, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I actually haven't gotten sidetracked uh, for the rest of this things, rest of this recording, so that's pretty good. I wish all luck to Specments in this battle, and that's basically all I have to say. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the battle. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, leave a like, follow me on Twitter, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it.